There are still some rock options here. Like this, this is optimistic. You know, if we ever come across something like that, I'm sure we can find rocks and type those types of fields. All right, eighteen hundred meters. Okay. Try and get stretched out again. I'm going to say we can sit down. We can sit down for a rock collection at 1750. Okay. If Sounds we can good. Find one there. Wait, we won't reach 1750. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so we'll reach like 1760. So is the other summit shallower then? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks yes, like it. it is. So the yeah. high point on the other summit is 1721. Okay, so maybe we won't take a rock. We'll have to set them up for a really good fast tow then to get to that site. That takes a lot of pressure off actually, because I don't see any rocks. I, mean, I, I see almost feel like though, um, so w what would the tow look like? All right, let's plan the watches, next watch is itinerary for them. <laughs> what would the tow look like? Assuming we can get to waypoint 12 by one hour from now. Yeah, I will make it to waypoint that summit. Um, that waypoint 12 in our watch. Keep zooming out. If, if they don't have any chance of making it I want to put one in the bank here. Um, yeah, so the distance between, so they'll probably land somewhere down here. So that's 1829 meters. I'm going to do that in nautical miles really quick. Uh, just over one nautical mile, and if we follow the same at a knot um, tracking, that's going to be about an hour. So okay. probably add 20 minutes or so on there for extra time. Um, and then they will land down here. Oh, sorry, I didn't see waypoint 13. That's interesting. Maybe they could just go straight from waypoint 12 to waypoint yeah, 13. Yeah, don't worry about 13. Okay, yeah, that's good. I'm sure if, if we're low on time, they can go Yeah. 12 to 14. So I would say an hour to an hour and a half for that midwater transit. And that would leave them, well, they have to be going up by 6 a.m. to make it to the top by 8 a.m. So if it did take an hour and a half, that only leaves them 30 minutes on this other summit. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do. Maybe if we get to 12, um, we can set them up to be in tow mode by the end of our watch. That would save them some time, right? Or driving mode, whatever. Seems to make the most sense. They're going to love that. Blue water tow and then blue water. <laughs> Poor four to eight. Hey, you know... We don't we don't make the dive plan, we just follow it. Um Nav, would it does it make sense to have them bring the ships heading around so that's facing the direction of the of the move again and go at a knot and a half like they did last um oh you didn't come up for dinner um no when we came up for dinner relief they had turned the ship around so it was heading the same direction and as it was bearing yeah or pretty close and they were going at a knot and a half Oh, look at that. Um, yeah. 
so oh what's this guy um, I would say that certainly could be an option. I don't know if that technique was translated to the officer on the bridge for the when we do oh, a for zoom? exchange. Um. Oh, black coral. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Maybe heteropathies. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Go wide. Um, however, that was Aaron's watch, and it will be Aaron's watch again, so she could give direction okay. for, to the bridge. Yeah, they, sh they should be able to get a knot and a half, because um, we're about a thousand meters shallower as well. Mm. Oh, okay. that's a good point. You know, I would say... Just, just, just in case, if we can get to seventeen fifty, ish, ish, we may do a rock sample up top, depending on how it looks, just so we can put something in the bank, and then okay. if they want to get another rock, at another place, they can do that. All right, so we're back on the rock hunt. Yeah. Yeah. It. It. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. I just, it would be a, like if something happened, we would lose that sample. We weren't able to go back to the seafloor, the other site. Right. Better to have it in the bank. That's a good point. What's 30 meters amongst 2,000, right? Yeah. One point something percent. <laughs> I was like, yeah, there's actually there's an there's an answer to that question. Some cup corals. Yeah, so we've got here mostly uh, different assemblage. We've got uh, umbellopathies, metallogorgia, victorgorgia, oh, yeah. pathies. Some of these. Uh, Trisopathies or heteropathies, black corals. Spongeopathies. <laughs> Mostly euplectelid sponges. There's a couple different varieties here. Uh, Proisocrinus rubrimus. Bridge, nav. One hundred meters bearing two three zero, please. Take a look at one of these um, unbranched uh, white colonies. Just oh yeah, as you sure. pass by the, up here. Half zoom, just to make sure that the same ones that we've been seeing, this uh, okay. possibly Norella on branch primnoid. This one actually might be Candidella. Oh, I think it's still Norella, actually. Yeah, I think polyp density here is, suggests Norella, so this is the same one we collected. Good, thank you. Okay. The 
the spacing on Candidella is a bit more wide. Uh, the colony is a bit less dense. Fish. You can see the shadow. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Um, you think there's a rock in here we can grab? Uh, like all throughout sure here, it looks pretty rocky. I'm scared to suggest a rock because I'm just thinking they're all stuck. Just say the words, Steve. What about this? This I think one. Wanted to go. What is, didn't you? Didn't oh. we want to get up to 1750 more? -ish? Yeah. But we don't go to 1750. Or ish. We go to 1760. Ish. Yeah, ish. 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 Yeah. Ish. Flat ish. one. Ish is a, a unit of 10 meters or more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ish as in closer to the top. Okay. Roger. Yeah, I mean, all, all the other watches have been typically within 10 to 30 meters of their target depth. Or all the other rock collections, I should say. It's funny to think about all these critters down here doing their thing in the complete dark. That's scary. It is. You get so used to seeing this in the light that you kind of forget sometimes. Yeah, that's not how they operate. Yeah. They have no idea how colorful they are. I think it's safe to say that even from when we got on watch, we've transitioned out of that community into something completely different. Yeah. Moving up through the layers biologically. Oh, can we look at that sea star? Yeah. The red one? Over Zoom. Nice. Okay. This is in the genus Chiraster. Okay. C H E I R 
A S T E R. It's got interesting coloration. It's like a kind of like an ombre out on their legs. It kind of fades out. Yeah. Yeah. And and they're all they all seem to be like that within this genus. It's not regrowth or anything huh. like that. Benthopectinidae, that's a family. Interesting bit of trivia. The genus Chiraster was created from the combination of two different genera of sea stars. Barbo um, Barbadosaster and Christopher Aster. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a name, but it's somebody a... named Christopher got a really nice star named after them. Oh, lucky. I'm looking, of course, at the World Register of Marine Species, which is kind of the, the most up-to-date taxonomic Bible for deep sea, or well, all marine species generally, but has really interesting information about the revisions that have gone on in certain groups over the history. Sometimes there's some really neat GIS uh, records to uh, worms typically consults databases like obis so it gives you can database records of where certain species occur very nice victor gorgia All right, we can start looking for a rock now. Rock hunt begins. Look at anything in this pile. Okay. What 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 are our size limitations here? Josh, do you want to poke what on we're the doing fly? A, doing a I think we want something poke. relatively small. Sure. Are we going front, uh, front or side drawer? Uh, starboard bio box B is open. Okay, so small. Probably don't want anything in A. Um. Uh, I'm not too confident about anything I'm seeing there. I mean, maybe look at that one, but yeah, it might be a little big. Uh, it does seem it's a little right. cemented as well.
Abby, you're out of auto XY, correct? I am. And it's solid. All right. I look to the left, that angular one on the far left. I mean, it's a bit far now. Oh, so yeah. There. I have to pick up to do that. That one might be too big for B. Oh, yeah, it's got an A. Okay. There, okay. The forward box. Uh, let's move on. I'm getting a little behind combo. anyways. Yeah, so. right. Oh, this one I was thinking. There's some, something in there. That's beautiful. Go for zoom. It is, it's like golden in color. Yeah. I remember seeing one of these exactly like this, branching bathypathies from the Line Islands. Go away? A few years ago. Oh yeah, it's branching. Oh, oh I didn't yeah, even notice that. that. That's really cool. A couple of them. Yeah, this is neat. We're back in back in coral land. Huh. Interesting. Does it go down after this? It's like a crater? Could be. Or a ridge. Yeah. Sort of plateauish. Yeah. Ooh, rocks, rocks. <laughs> So it's oh, yeah. Hoping I for see plateau him. rocks this way. Do you want to stop the ship here? Bridge, now. In case there's a bunch of rocks to poke at. Oh. Hold station, please. Can't really get to the other side quite yet, but I will be able to. Look, the corals and Argus are where you are, right beside you. So. I see them. Thank you. Appreciate it. So this is the sedimented side, so maybe the, where they're connected to the slope, it's actually just hidden. More of these knife's edge type uh, ridges up here. It's kind of what we expected to find the high density communities down deeper. Now we well, also see them here, high density, but yeah, different. Yeah, we can look at stuff for a second because I'm still waiting on the swing of Argus to be able to get to where we might see a rock or two.
also struggling against the current. Can you give me a little more iris? Thank you. Try this way. Okay, that's what we were looking at, is that little tide pool there. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm having an easier time going face into the current there, for sure. Is it a tide pool if it's completely underwater? I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm willing to explore the possibility. <laughs> it's that whole sand tide. Looks like a promising spot. Yeah. To me. From this height. I think it might be like the connections, the places where the rocks are cemented and are just buried under sand, but we can try. Yep. You know which one I'm looking at, right? Yeah. The most obvious looking one. Yeah. They're all kind of perfect size for one of the small boxes in the start. One looks size. like a comfortable bicycle seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Rats. Nope. Comfortable bicycle seat is not loose. That broke apart a little bit. Bike, bicycle Maybe seat. Hop forward a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Not seeing much in here. Not if not if those ones weren't gonna go. Yep. Okay. What about the smaller ones to the right hand side? Uh give me a sec to reset up here. Smaller ones to the right hand side. Kind of broke up at a little pieces there. Yeah, it's all crust. No, don't worry about that. Okay. It's weird that it kind of feels like we're at the summit of something. Like right where we are right now? Very cl 
close. Yeah. Like we're on that ridge, that knife ridge. Yeah. But I was looking. I was like, maybe it's right here based on just. Contours. It's just a really narrow ridge or something yeah. that we could actually follow. Yeah. I, I guess I see that in the sonar. I don't think there's anything here. Let's keep moving. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to catch up real quick. And then we can get the ship going. Is that, let's see, this is the way I want to go. I think you I think. still want to be 2.30-ish. Okay. Yeah. Right along this knife yeah, ridge. Yeah, I think so. Which you lined us up on again. What? Could work. What is your bearing? Uh, 2.40? Okay. Let's see. like closer to 250 maybe now okay shoot a move in that direction to get out okay. ahead Yeah, so, I mean, we can keep going along this flat, too. Um, it might have been just a, because where the contours are, like, it is a flat area, too. So okay. it could have just been some yeah, micro relief. Yeah, just make your move, and I'll follow along. Great, now. Can we get a little tilt? Yeah, sorry about that. All good. Can we go 50 meters, bearing two, four, five? That's it. Thank you. Current still coming west to east. Maybe even slightly southwest. My view of the marine snow. Yeah, I feel like you you said you think it's coming from the southwest. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, Sorry we, may, about that. we may be bagging peaks, but we're definitely not bagging any rocks I know. <laughs> on these oh. peaks. Seem to be our <laughs> forte. forte yeah. So we are uh, gaining a reputation, unfortunately. Uh. Yeah, it feels like it's not that surprising, right? The peaks are going to be the highest current, and then it's going to be the smoothest rock, probably. Yeah. I mean, where we saw the... Uh, rocks, what, they were closer to like 18, 1900 meters, it was actually closer to our last depth range than it was to this one. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Oh, I-4. The uh, Isadella I-4 bamboo coral. Didn't see that before. So two, four, five. Yeah, two, four, five. Is that where we're going? Yeah. yeah. Anywhere.
somewhere plus or minus five would be okay. How's that look? We're at two three zero right now. What's two three zero? I was just looking at your heading. Just oh yeah, I'm sort of flopping around a little. The yeah. current is kind of strong coming over the ridge. The only sonar targets you got are <clears throat> off to your right a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, that is it's that ridge basically. It's weird. This the multi beam would have us think that there's more. Uh, slope up ahead of us yeah yeah the peak was a tiny bit off last time we were there too that is true i mean we're talking <laughs> not not a whole lot like quote quotations off how much would Super it be close. off if that was if we were just there and it's not really there um well the cell size is 100 meters so mm. that's something to take in consideration So I'm looking at the sonar still. Look at the Herc sonar. See that ridge? That's I think that's what the ridge looks like there. The one we were just on? Yeah. Or it's going to be, where is it? I so I'm facing 240, right. four basically. And it's to my starboard. So it's like 270 or something. Yeah. Um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense within the multi-beam no. is why I'm sort of like questioning things I think we're gonna be going downhill if we go two four five okay so do you want to go more westerly then yeah all right let's just go that I, I yeah I, I feel can. like weird like not doing what the multi-beam says. But the sonar says <laughs> really? there's nothing over there. <laughs> I would follow a sonar way yeah, before okay. I follow multi-beam. Yeah, because we're getting... Because <laughs> like, you're getting real images right now. Yeah, yeah. Sonar. and again, like the resolution issue as well. So okay, yeah. like so we're, we're I'm going to point down micro. that ridge and let's make the move that way. Okay, yeah. I'll just adjust the heading and we can all... We're a dynamic system. So. Okay, 270. Ridge, nav. Can we change our bearing to 270? Got some other rock candidates coming up here. I'm thinking you know, down in this area. Okay. Specifically th that one. Oop. Off to the left. Yeah, okay. I don't think we're going to see it on the right side. I think now we're going to have to swap back to the left side. Rocks. These uh, come down a bit. Depression got time. could be sources. Yeah. Just fighting current a little bit. There seems to be some more candidates in the distance here as well. Yeah, I the right see side one. Is yeah, I see one that actually really does look loose. Oh, it may just be a ledge. They're all just tricks of the light. Yeah, yeah. You see the one I mean off to the left? Like no. Okay. Halfway up the left-hand side of the screen. It's like a ledgy shadow. Um. Okay, so in here? Yeah, no, I... I I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> okay. It was, uh, it was one from... That looked pretty loose, but I don't think that's going to happen. It was the, right at the, on your toe there. Right below me? Yeah, that okay. that was what I was originally pointing at, but very, very slim. I wouldn't put money on it. Can you give it a quick? Yeah. I mean, if, if bicycle seat didn't move, I don't know about this <laughs> one. Bicycle seat. Comfortable. I had all my money on it. Comfortable bicycle seat. Nope. 
I don't think so. Okay. All right. Well, we're on this side of the ridge, so we can look for stuff. Never knew rock sampling could be so dramatic. I know. <laughs> I'm feeling like dismay, <laughs> despair, despair. Oh my Aww. god! <laughs> <laughs> like what you know, it, it's okay. You know, when when you sample a coral and you lose a coral, that's that's okay. But just like not being able to find something on a mountain of rocks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this seems it's really just odd. Irony, yeah. Uh. <laughs> irony is <laughs> <the> irony. <laughs> yeah, that, we're going multiple uh, puns uh, deep. Yeah, here. We're, that's layers there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Punception. <laughs> These things look neat. Are those barnacles? I'm feeling better about the direction of our move even though it hasn't really started yet. Sweep over to your left there, maybe. And okay. I think this top of this ridge is going to be smooth. Right. Yeah, okay. we got a bit of time and some leash to your left. Yeah. There's a sticky, uppy looking rock. Maybe part of that will break off. Mm. The current's not nothing. <laughs> the current's not nothing. It's not nothing. So I got extra jam that I forgot about. That was a trick of the light. It's a giant, yeah, that's... Yeah. I could good. grab a hold of it, but it's unlikely to. Yeah. <sighs> you poke at it. Okay. This is it's cool feature. I don't, yeah, it's a really cool feature. I just don't know where it's taking us. I We're know, sort of like either. following the yellow brick road. I feel like it might loop around a little bit. Like, okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't want this to distract us from getting to uh, waypoint twelve too much. Oh, okay. You know, because the, there's still a chance that they can get across the dive um, jump, the next jump to the other peak, and have a okay better time on the slope. They'll probably still be at similar depths to actually where we're at, we are now. Yeah. And they might have more luck with Talos. Mm. Okay. So I'm you want to? I'm coming back over. Yeah, left. I'm kind of thinking we're, like, I'm assuming waypoint twelve was placed because it was assumed that was the top, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But too. that's not actually the top top is more to the north yeah okay which is where we're headed the real top yeah we can um let's keep heading in the direction towards the southwest uh it's, n it's we're not really so much interested in seeing the top sure as uh yeah that's a little it'll be a little seeing downhill. what's up here it's, 
pretty clear that the down current side tends to have some corals and sponges, but um, you know we don't we don't want to get too far off our track because we want to get to the other side. Sure. Yeah, they probably have a better chance of finding a rock on those sides, a little right. lower too, yeah. anyway. And I I don't think um, I don't think the other side is too dissimilar from this. It's kind of you know yeah. crust and sheet meters, flows and. Two, three, zero. Um, Steve, I'm not quite following. Yep. You want to follow the topography up to the top, or no? I want to. I will. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can follow the topography up to the summit all day. I think we want to keep moving to the southwest and keep on the track oh, that okay. was intended to, to, to get 12. to the other summit. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna go a little okay. down downhill to waypoint twelve. Roger. I am understanding now. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. Uh, the the waypoint are, are aren't like uh, points of interest. They're more just keep us on track. Uh, I see. Since we're still have to get to the okay, other summit. Okay, so what's our move now? 230. Roger. Overall, um, we're looking at it up to 100 kilometer elevation change over the course of the uh, movement between 12 and 13. Straight ahead, are those possibilities or am I just not seeing it all yet? I'll bring them into view. Still take a look at them. Got some time. I think that it makes them look fresh because it looks like they've been scoured by, you know, animals. You know, the sediment mm. is not as fresh. Uh, it's a little bit more fresh. But there's some ones like there that it looks like you get good purchase on and maybe okay. break it. Um, maybe in here, but we've we've seen that movie before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the one that's just off, yeah, to the bottom. This one, one yeah, that one looks kind like of it's poking it's, up a little bit. Yeah, it's on a pedestal. It's way bigger than I thought. something else hmm. okay little ones down um, down into the left of that one yeah yeah go for zoom there you they're actually like icebergs. They're just part they're of big, yeah. part of the yeah. They're yeah, just they're just part of the bedrock. Okay. Um. I'll go catch up with Argus now, and we'll see if there's anything off ahead. Oh. You want to take a look at that one? Uh, that's okay. Okay. Let's get cracking here.
They're so compelling, all those rocks. You want to poke at a couple in here? Sure. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. We're quite a bit off on the GBL. <laughs> They're just as bad as the rest of them. Uh, you're making me reach all the oh, way okay. across. Sure. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. It's a little discouraging. All right, yeah. It's a balance, right, between stopping and trying too many rocks and then yeah. not making enough progress and then definitely not finding a rock because you're in the midst of the blue water by the time you have to come off bottom. Uh, so let, let's let's just keep moving a little bit until we see something. If we see something painfully obvious, that it might be worth a check. Okay, sounds good. Just want to make sure that we can set the next watch up for some success. Keep your eyes peeled. stretched out right now so there's not any further that I can go snap so what about this right here right in front of me you can break this some of that oh uh, that one in the upper can right you move looks like you can get some fingers zero. under that uh, that one or the one right yeah oh, that, Sand that's there. that's a gem right there okay sounds good yeah I feel good about that one <laughs> of course I said that about the last few too yeah <laughs> But you can see this one has a little bit of a cutout underneath. Yeah. We can get fingers under it, pry it up. This this one here? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it has a... You can see some shadows with it. Underneath is completely scoured away. Is it zoom? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is this, this is going in the starboard box? Uh, yeah, if you can, starboard bio box B would be great. 
Okay, we had to pick up a little bit to put it, to stow it, just because the starboard box is in a rock right now. Um, um, might fit in the little box. Maybe. Some rocks not. Anemone on the bottom. Got a clear anemone. Is that zoanthid? Yeah, it's got bits of zoanthid on it too. Mm -hmm. This is a this is a really nice rock. Great, multi-purpose, <laughs> equal opportunity rock. <laughs> All right, we can stow it. Um, Give me one you second can try for there. B. Uh, if if it's not, so we probably got a minute and a half before Argus starts moving. Okay. Oh, starts moving? Yeah, these we had just come to a stop then, so I can stop right now. Yeah. Okay. Bridge nav. Um, I'm gonna. I think I have to come up a little bit to get the. Oh, I think you're fine. Oh, really? I'll okay. Stop, yeah, please. You look at the. Just gonna hit the salvo here. Um, and I'll give you that other camera. Uh, and which box are we going for? One of the little ones, maybe. Yeah, if 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 Bravo doesn't work. Let's see how big it is. There's nothing magical about Maybe that hit my arm that sponge. Something. Maybe we can double it up with a sponge. Is there anything else in that? Oh, yeah, we do have a rock in there already. Yeah. No, it's flat rock first part of the dive. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fit in there. Would it help if I said Dan could do it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think even Dan could do it. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you think about in uh, next to that sponge? Uh, got some headspace there. You think you can close it if it goes in there? Yeah, I think that would be a better... So then we're going to go in. Yeah. There's nothing, there's really nothing biologically important that's floaty back of here, right? Cobble. Cobble, crest. Angular. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my you want me to give it a go? Yeah, I give it a go. Not really closing this all the way, anyways. Exactly. Oh yeah, it's oh, perfect. perfect. <laughs> Lovely. That's it. Great. Nice spotting. Uh, on the ascent, you'll try and close it, uh, right? Or no? It won't close more probably than that. Yeah. It might close. I mean, we could give it a little squeeze.